Oh, hi. Thanks for watching my video. And welcome back to another episode of the Skipper series, episode two. So we left off the first episode with a bit of a shocking outcome. Skipper and Dale spent the day working on uni and working out. They went for a nice romantic meal for date night. Came home to find this little bundle, little Emily. And this lady here, Lillian, has come over to claim her child. Basically, it looks like someone's been keeping a bit of a secret. In case you didn't uh, figure out, even though it was pretty heavily hinted in the last episode, Emily is Dale's daughter. So Lily's come over just to have a chat with them, try and explain things, because uh, quite a lot of explaining to do there, Lillian. But it seems that before Dale and Skipper got together, which was when they were sort of coming out of their teenage years, Dale used to go out with this chick, Lillian, and uh, she got pregnant, decided not to tell him about it, and then here we are today. Toddler turns up at the door, and I guess Dale has now inherited a daughter. As you can imagine, it's pretty shocking news for everyone involved. I mean, I think Dale is kind of happy to embrace fatherhood. Um, I think Skipper is more sort of struggling to come to terms with it. She's just giving herself a bit of a pep talk now, just to kind of get over the shock. But, uh, yeah, she's pretty sad. If you look close, you could see the bottom lip quibbling a little bit. So, that's when someone is real sad, you know, when the lips start going crazy. The main question is really, where do we go from here? They have all this responsibility now that they didn't ask for. Maybe it might be time to just ask, um, ask Lillian to go away. And... Although it may seem a bit harsh, I think maybe we should tell the kid to go away too. Skipper and Dale just need to talk, so probably best you guys leave. Funny how life can just change in the blink of an eye. I think it was only a few hours ago we were woohooing in the shower, and now look at us. Family in turmoil. Well, I think it's, it would be uh, pretty unfair to let Dale get away with this. I mean, I know it's not his fault, but still, um, I think we should still be a bit mean, you know. I mean, I don't think Skipper even knew that he had a girlfriend before her, because for her, everything was the first time. So maybe Dale should have been a bit more honest about that. And how do we know that things wouldn't reignite between him and Lily, now that we know they have a kid together? So many questions. So many questions. You know what? You guys are clearly not going to get on at the moment. I mean, Dale's pretty angry about being shouted at. I think Skipper, you know, it might be a good time to just get away from it all. I think maybe we should move out temporarily, go and spend a few days with Midge and Christy, see how they're getting on, just try and get over this situation. Obviously, we're going to take the cat, though. I mean, not going anywhere without the cat. Thanks again for letting us stay. I mean, I just really didn't know what else we would do. And thanks for letting me bring Hayden. He won't be any trouble. I mean, he's not potty trained or anything, but you don't really have anything nice in this house, so I figured it wouldn't really matter if he shits everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to go sulk, so see you later. Oh, poor Skipper. I know it might seem like the end of the world right now, but it'll all work out. It'll be okay. One thing that might help would be maybe if we did like a girl's spa day, like we did for Barbie, when she was sad. Although I can't remember what she was sad about. I think she was sad because she was caught cheating or something. But before we do that, perhaps we should buy a few things for Hayden, because we don't know how long we're going to be staying here, so let's get him a few bits and bobs. We'll get him a food bowl. I mean, I'm guessing we're going to be staying in this spare room here, so we'll get, we'll get him a little cat bed, maybe a little litter tray, and a few cat toys, maybe. There we go. All right, girls, let's... Oh, it looks like they're making a toast. I was about to say, I can't help but notice it's like 10 a.m. and you're all drinking Cosmos. No judgment, no judgment. I'm exactly like that too when I'm on holiday. Let's head to the spa. Maybe uh, maybe we'll give Skipper a little bit of an edge. Because even though she's a student right now, maybe we could get her into wellness. Haven't really played much with the wellness skill. Maybe she could be a yoga instructor or something. Just have to remember where I put that fucking spa. Go to most popular. We don't want to see the shit ones. This one looks pretty good. Let's go for this one. All right, now we're going to go to the spa. We'll take Barbie too, because she loves a good old spa day. This is a nice spa. Right, Skipper, I think perhaps let's start off by treating you to a manicure. No, a pedicure. Push the boat out. 
Maybe you could have a glass of this fizzy juice. That's a nice little touch now. I like that. Uh, maybe green? Yeah, that's right. Have a little bit of pink fizz. It's New Year's Eve. Treat yourself. There we go. Oh, you can see she's relaxing already. Look how relaxed she is. I need to remember to make a resolution. It is New Year's Eve after all. Maybe that could be your New Year's resolution to focus on wellness. Yoo-hoo. Ready for my pedicure? Maybe get off fucking Instagram and give me my pedicure. Oh my god, you just can't get the service these days, can you? <laughs> it takes a while for the, uh, the shoes to come off there. It's nice to have a pamper day every now and again. Yeah, I think I definitely want Skipper to get into yoga. And then that way she can be like... Because uh, she's only a part-time student, she's only doing two courses. So she could be a part-time student, part-time yoga instructor. I'm going to get a real close-up view because I want to see these toenails come to life. Not seeing that, that sparkly green just yet. I mean, the foot's on the ground now. Still no sparkly green. You sure you're qualified to do this? I wonder if it'd be better to just see it from Skipper's perspective. No. Still no nail polish. Well, you can't expect it to be perfect, can you? So how long have you been working here? Think we're done. What are the rest of the girls doing? Oh, they've got their little robes on. Oh, Stacy's calling me again. Oh, I feel bad for ignoring her. I should have invited her, really. Maybe we'll go relax in the sauna. Yeah, today's just about unwinding, just sweating away all the stress, finding out that your long-term boyfriend has got a secret daughter. Well, we do have some yoga mats here, so we could go and um, practice yoga. Oh, I wonder if they have any of those fridges, you know, when you can get one of those, like, smoothie things? A brain-boosting yoga class is beginning in 30 minutes. Okay, well, let's go and do... Let's Join the class. 110 simoleons. Seems a bit steep. All right, Skipper, this is where we can really find our inner peace. Are you even doing the class? Oh, for God's sake. She left it too late. Okay, well then just don't just stand there. Practice yoga. Do some yoga. Fucking Sims. And in the meantime, I'm going to buy one of those fridges so she can get one of those smoothies. Yes, Skipper likes wellness. She loves wellness. She loves it so much. Okay, so I bought some face masks to share. Oh, you're just going to go ahead and apply yours now, are you? I was actually saving that till this evening, but I guess you uh, ruined that, but okay. I'm going to have one of these cucumber drinks, and then I'm going to have my Sim work on her, um... Come over here. Then I'm going to have Skipper work on her wellness skill, because I really want her to, um, unlock her mental potential by finding her inner chakra. Go and practice some yoga. What's Midge doing over here? She's just gossiping with the instructor. You know you have a girlfriend, Midge. Oh, we'll join this energy centering class. Christy, you gonna join in? For some reason, I just have got all of these achievements, even though I've done nothing <laughs> to earn them. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I have earned them at some point whilst playing, but I don't know why they're all popping up now. Wow, these guys are achieving true inner peace right now. Oh, she had her drink. I love wellness. Good. Well, hopefully you'll build up some skills pretty quickly. Then you can be a yoga instructor. Have you given up now? <laughs> I mean, Christy's giving it her best shot at least, even though she has a few wobbles. Yeah, looks like Skipper's just kind of doing her own thing now. Marching to the sound of her own drum, that one. She seems to be like a few steps ahead of everyone else. If I can get her to, like, wellness level 3 by the end of this spa session, I'll be pretty happy with that. Is this the part where you guys just take a nap? <gasps> what are you doing? Well, we're at level two already and like halfway towards getting to level three. I'm glad it let me choose her as a liking wellness because her skill builds a little bit quicker for this one. Cause she enjoys doing it. She's having a great time practicing her Kama Sutra. I mean, practicing her yoga poses. Oh, so close. Go on, girl, you're nearly there. I might when we go home. Um, I might buy her a little, hey, we reached level three. All right, let's go back. I might, when we go home, get her a little wellness mat of her own so she can practice yoga when she's chilling at home, you know. Come on, let's go. I know you love what yoga, but it's time to go. Oh, they're all exhausted. They're all cold. They're all pissed off because none of them made resolutions. I gave you a full day at the spa and you're still finding a way to moan. Sims, man, they're just never happy, are they? Christy's still wearing her robe. Did you steal that from the spa, Christy? Why don't we, um, 
chill on the sofa and watch a movie. That'll be a nice end to our New Year's Eve. You two not going to sit down? Oh yeah, I thought so. Well, we've had a, a good bit of downtime today, away from Dale and the stresses of what happened at the last episode. I don't think we're quite ready to move back in with him yet. We'll see how things go with Midge and Christy. But I feel like we accomplished a lot today. So I think I'm going to end episode two here. And then episode three, maybe we'll start thinking about moving back home and trying to come up with a plan to make this family work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.